Hello everyone and welcome back to this how-to video. Today we are going to see how to unlock the Guardian Frameshift Drive and uh, it's a very difficult thing so stay tuned until the end of the video. I hope this will help you out. Let's go to see it and yes you can actually start to hear a particular noise that it will be you will be become familiar with in a moment. We begin with the mandatory items. What you will need to complete this mission is a fuel scoop, a beam laser and an SRV. Next step is to go to this website commandertoolbox.com. I will leave the link in the description down below. We have to select in this case the Guardian Frame Shift Drive booster. Here is gonna tell us all the material needed and uh, where to find the ancient data terminal site that we will see in the next chapter. What we are going to do first is we need to look for the Guardian Beacon location. And if you are within the bubble, I suggest you to go to India Charlie 2391 Sector MXT Bravo 36 and uh, I will leave uh, also this system in the links down below. And there we are arrived at the beacon. Now we will see the three pylons that they will uh, disattach from the structure. As soon as we start uh, shooting at those points, uh, a counter will start and we have to finish uh, shooting before the end of the counter. After we, we have shot to all of them, the structure will open and in the center they will exit uh, the key that we need to scan. Once scanned, the structure it will close on itself and it will release at the top the key that we need to take with the cargo scoop. After that, we have to start to collect the Guardian materials and data. And we have to find the ancient ruin and also we need to get the Guardian module blueprint right. So, one system that I found is Sinuef Golf Tango Hotel Bravo 43. One. Approaching the site, uh, you will notice that there will be some column that uh, will rise from the ground and you have two types. This one is the first type and we have to shoot at it. The most difficult part, it will be to identify the six, there are six of those pylons and they will just emerge from the surface if you pass very close to this triangle shape on the ground. You have to shoot at them all together not at the same time of course, but as soon as you shoot at them you will have a counting timer and uh, in order to activate the central structure and then we have to throw into the middle of the structure on the ground the ancient relic that we just uh, took uh, by shooting uh, at the lighted guardian uh, pillar at the beginning of the session. Okay, now I have uh, found uh, all of them total six and uh, let's try to shoot at them together to see how actually it works Okay, I killed them all and now I position myself in front uh, of the, I call it altar, and as you can see there is this symbol on the floor, 
in front and here I have to jettison my relic as soon as I did it it will come out the print to analyze now after we have done this we have to start to shoot as you can see at those strange shape uh, items that are going off the ground but you see they have destructible panel now that we have gathered all of our material what we need to do is to find a technology broker you can always go to inara in the nearest section and you can type technology broker I found this technology broker in the exact system where I bought the shock mount. So once we land, uh, once we dock on the cutter or the station, we have to go to contacts and we will see here technology broker. And from here we can choose our frame shift drive, Guardian FSD booster just go here and you see we have uh, all the materials required the guardian module guardian power cell technology component focus crystal and hn shock mount guys thank you for watching and if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe the video made me grumpy because uh, it took me a lot of time and it will take a lot of time to you as well to gather all the material, but I hope I help you out on speeding up a bit the process. Cheers!